OSC key press. So when I'm using my show control software, I'm outputting my audio. Then I'm also sending OSC commands from my show control software to my lighting software or my light desk so I can synchronize my light cues. But then I also want to send OSC commands to my slide presentation laptop so that I can synchronize my slides or videos that are being projected. So this little bit of software here called OSC KeyPress will help you do that. It basically translates OSC commands to key presses. So with slide presentation software, if you press one enter, it goes to slide one. If you press four enter, it goes to slide four. If you press the space bar, it advances through the slide. If you press left arrow, it goes back one slide, right arrow, it goes forward one slide. With this software, you can design your own OSC commands, send them to the slideshow presentation laptop, and it will actually translate these to key presses so that you can synchronize your slides. Now, in this case, I'm gonna be just using Touch OSC on my phone to send these OSC commands, but you could easily be sending them from your show control software also. Your show control computer and your slideshow computer have to be on the same network. Uh, you're gonna want to, when you're sending the commands, you have to send them to the slideshow computer, you have to send them to this. So this software here is on the laptop that's running the slideshow software. The slideshow software has to be up and running, it has to be the main window also. Using my phone, I'm sending my commands to this computer with this software and also my slideshow software. So my IP address for this computer is 10.0.0.30. I'm also sending it to port 8001, so I've set that up. So this program is just listening for commands to come in. Uh, again, I'm sending them from my phone, but they could very easily be coming from my show control computer. And it's very easy, you can use anything that you would like uh, as far as what the OSC command. So in this case, my command is going to be slash page one slash key one, and that's going to translate over and actually press the one key on this computer. Slash page one slash key two, and that's going to translate over and press the two key on this computer. Uh, slash page one slash key slash enter is going to translate over and press the enter key on this computer. Slash page one slash key slash space is going to press the space bar and etc. You can kind of look at these and you get the idea. These can be anything you'd like them to be. The only thing that you need to know is when you're sending this OSC commands include a piece of data. So when I send this from my touch OSC layout on my phone, it's sending this OSC command plus a space 1.0. So it's, it's sending that little piece of data. And here it says, ignore the data, but you need to send that data in order to send the command. So if you're sending these commands from your show control software, don't forget, include the command and then also space 1.0, and then that command can be sent. So uh, I've got these ready to go. I'm going to just minimize this to my space bar and bring up my slideshow software. Here's my slideshow. I'll go into presentation mode, so that's up and running. So now I'm gonna send the commands from my phone. Here we go, here's the spacebar command, OSC spacebar command. I can use my left arrow to go back or my right arrow command to go forward. I can also just jump to slides, so I'll do one, enter, and jump to slide one, four, enter, jump to slide four, three, enter, jump to slide three, back to one, enter, and you get the idea. So it's very, very easy then to synchronize your slides with your audio and with your lighting cues just using this little piece of helper software.